Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to show you nine developer options that everyone should use on their Android phones. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First things first, let me show you how to enable developer options on your Android device if you don't know it already. The first step is to open settings, go to about device and here you need to tap on the build number 7 times. After that you need to go back to system and then you'll have a new section called developer options. Developer options have some advanced or hidden settings for pro android users. I'll quickly show you 9 developer options that everyone should enable on their device. The first option that you need to enable is Force 4x MSAA. This setting is particularly very important for gamers as it improves the graphic performance in games by optimizing and rendering high quality visuals. This will really improve the graphic performance on your device. Though this might consume more battery, but if you are a serious gamer, you should definitely enable this feature. The next option that you need to enable is Mobile Data Always Active. What this feature does is, it keeps your mobile data always active even if you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. And then whenever you face a problem with your Wi-Fi network, it switches to mobile data seamlessly without any delays. This feature definitely consumes some battery, but if you are someone who wants to be connected to the internet always, better to enable this feature. Next up is running services. In running services, you get to see the real-time RAM usage of your device. You can see which app is consuming how much memory on your device. It shows RAM usage of all the application including the system apps. You can even tap on an app and stop it if you are facing RAM issues. This feature is really useful because with this you will be able to find and stop what might be slowing down your device. The next developer option is the default USB configuration. With this feature you can select the default method when you connect your device to your PC. For example, if you select file transfer here, the next time you connect your device to a PC, it will be directly connected in a file transfer mode. This feature will save you the hassle of manually pulling the notification shade down and selecting file transfer every time you connect your device to a PC or laptop. The next option is very old and many OG Android users will know about this. So if your device is feeling slow and the apps are taking a lot of time to open or close, you need to change the animation scale settings. You can see 3 animation scale options by default, it will be set to 1x. Just change all the 3 to 0.5x and your phone will be so much faster now. I totally love this feature and every time I install a new ROM, the first thing I do is change the window animation scale. So if you are a dark mode fanatic like I am, you'll love this feature. Even if you turn the dark mode on, not all apps have the dark mode like Amazon or Zomato. To force dark mode on these apps, you need to enable force dark mode in the developer options. Now all the apps will have a dark mode. This might not look very well, but hey, this works. Nowadays, most phones come with a 90fps or 120hz refresh rate screen. So if you want to see the actual refresh rate on which your screen is running, you can enable this show refresh rate from developer options. This will start showing the actual refresh rate in the top left corner. And you can see most of the apps run on 120Hz but YouTube runs on 60Hz only. Moving on, the next developer option that you need to enable is Show Sensor Quick Setting Tile. You will find this one under Quick Setting Developer Tiles and this will enable a quick setting option. Now with this option you can turn all the sensors on your device off with just one click. This can be really beneficial for the privacy reasons and it can also save you some battery. And finally, the last setting is again for the gamers. If your phone doesn't have a proper game options, you can modify the graphic driver options for your games. You can also do it for other apps, but doing this for games will increase your gaming performance a lot. Just select your game and enable the system graphic driver and now enjoy improved gaming performance. So those were the developer options that everyone should enable on their Android device to make the best use of it. Comment down which settings you use the most. That's all for this video. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.